The difference between a firm landing and a hard landing in aviation is a concept of particular concern to pilots, air traffic controllers, and aviation accident and incident investigators. Well, a landing isn't just about touching the ground. The distinction between a firm and hard landing isn't merely semantic. It carries technical implications. Let's dive deeper into what makes a landing either firm or hard in the world of aviation. First, let's understand what a firm landing is. It's an intentional maneuver designed to bring the aircraft onto the runway swiftly. Now, you might be wondering, why would a pilot opt for a firm landing? Well, the answer lies in the conditions. In poor weather, for example, when visibility is low or the runway is slippery, a firm landing ensures the aircraft touches down exactly where the pilot intends it to. Similarly, on short runways, a firm landing helps to maximize the available space for deceleration. Rest assured, these firm landings are entirely within the aircraft's design limitations. They might feel a bit abrupt, but they're planned, practiced, and perfectly safe. So firm landings, while they might feel a bit abrupt, are entirely safe and sometimes necessary. Now let's shift gears and talk about hard landings. Imagine a sudden jolt, a harsh impact with the runway. That's a hard landing for you. It's not just uncomfortable, it's potentially damaging to the aircraft. The causes, well, they can range from pilot error, perhaps a misjudged approach, to severe weather conditions that make smooth landings a challenge. It's not something to be taken lightly. In fact, hard landings often lead to serious investigations by safety officials. They want to understand what went wrong and how to prevent it from happening again. As you can see, hard landings are more problematic and something pilots strive to avoid. A firm landing is a controlled, intentional touchdown often necessary due to certain weather conditions or runway lengths. It might feel a bit bumpy, but it's all part of the plan. On the flip side, a hard landing is typically unintentional, caused by factors like pilot error or mechanical issues, and can potentially damage the aircraft. It's the hard landings that raise eyebrows among pilots, engineers, and safety officials. Understanding these terms and the factors influencing them is crucial in aviation. A hard landing in aviation refers to a landing that occurs with more force or impact than a normal landing, often resulting in potential damage to the aircraft. Hard landings can be caused by various factors, including causes of hard landing. One, control errors, mistakes made by pilots during landing, such as excessive descent rates or improper flare techniques. Two, weather conditions, strong winds, turbulence or thunderstorms can make landing more challenging. Three, mechanical issues. Problems with the aircraft's landing gear, brakes or other systems can contribute to a hard landing. Four, air traffic control errors. Incorrect instructions or clearances can lead to rushed or unstable approaches. Characteristics of hard landing. 1. Excessive vertical descent rate, landing with a higher than normal descent rate. 2. Excessive sink rate, sinking or dropping onto the runway. 3. Landing gear damage, damage to the landing gear, wheels or tires. 4. Structural damage, damage to the aircraft's fuselage or wings. Consequences of hard landing. 1. Aircraft damage. Hard landings can result in costly repairs. 2. Injuries or fatalities. In severe cases, hard landings can cause harm to passengers and crew. 3. Runway excursions, veering off the runway during landing. Regulatory Guidelines 1 FAA Definition The Federal Aviation Administration FAA defines a hard landing as a landing with a vertical descent rate exceeding 300 feet per minute at touchdown. 2 Safety Inspections Hard landings often require post-incident inspections to assess damage. Prevention of hard landing 1 Proper training Pilots should receive training on stable approach techniques and landing procedures. 2 Adherence to procedures. Following standard operating procedures, SOPs, can minimize errors. 3. Aircraft maintenance. Regular maintenance can help prevent mechanical issues. 4. Weather awareness. Pilots should be aware of weather conditions and plan accordingly.